Uh, the bridges we replaced were built in 1958. Um, so obviously they were uh, older than their life cycle beyond 50 years. I don't think they, the engineers at the time were envisioning uh, this type of traffic uh, load that these bridges had experienced. This section of I-95 also happens to carry I-64 traffic. Uh, so that equates to about 150,000 vehicles per day. Uh, so in a 10 hour window, we're trying to remove one section of bridge, haul another one on site, set it in place and open up the road. So it was extremely difficult. Uh, it took a lot of planning. We constructed the bridges off site and then basically like a giant puzzle, we put them together off site and took them apart, brought them to the site and reassembled them. Uh, so that, that shaved off about four months from the project. So there's no more closures up on I-95 and we're just buttoning up uh, stuff underneath the, the bridges and we'll be done by October. The project has been great in regards to on time and on budget. We're ahead of schedule and way under budget. Uh, we saved about uh, roughly $16 million on the project. We're hoping to get a 60 year life out of these bridges, if not more. Um, yeah, we'll have routine maintenance on them like we would any bridge. Um, it's almost impossible to build a maintenance free bridge, but uh, before we have to replace them again, it'll easily be 60 plus years.